I'd like to make a couple points there. Um, I, I would agree with Pat um, on, on the risks um, to the market. Some folks might remember during the debate in Congress this summer over the ACA, um, Senator Cruz had an amendment that would effectively allow there to be a parallel non-compliant market alongside um, the ACA compliant market, and, and Congress ultimately um, did not adopt that approach. So this is sort of the administration's end run, I guess, around around Congress. Um, with respect to the short-term plans, I think there are risks to the market, but I also think there are real risks to consumers who buy these plans. Um, if you look at their marketing materials, they walk and talk a lot like traditional comprehensive health insurance. And and we have heard again and again from state insurance departments and others that consumers buy these things thinking they're real insurance, thinking they will cover them when they need healthcare services, and find out that they are on the hook for thousands and thousands of dollars of medical bills um, because these things simply don't cover anything. 